keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside of the truck. This is a real truck and I am really driving it. It's gonna get pretty bumpy out here today, so for your safety, we ask that you stay seated. Now you may have seen that safari spotting guide above you. We're not gonna see all of those animals stand alone. They are not the tallest, but they do stand at about five feet tall at their shoulder. Now you may have noticed on that right side there, that pink back pelican over there. Pink-backed pelicans do get their name because during their mating season, they will become way more pink. They also have a wingspan of about nine feet and will stay in groups of about 20 to 500 pairs. Leaves, fruits, and vegetables. Coming up on the left side here, you may see the Nile crocodile. Nile crocodile, rapid growth to be able to grow. because it does stay leafless about nine months out of the year. During the drier months, it will save up as much water in its trunk as it can to be able to survive. But during the rainier months, it will have enough water stored up as well as some excess to be able to bear some leaves. Now we're headed into the savanna, home to a wide range of animals, ranging from lions, giraffes, elephants, zebras, and many other animals. Over on the right side there, you may see some Maasai giraffe. You can tell those are Maasai giraffe because of their patterns. Their patterns have rubber edges. You may have also seen a restricted giraffe before. Their pattern has more of a softer edge. Over on the left side of the truck there, you may see the African Painted Dog. Looks like they're under that shelter there in the middle. African Painted Dogs are in the top 10 fastest land mammals. They can run up to speeds of about 55 miles per hour. They will also hunt in groups, which makes them one of the most successful hunters. Hey, Lizzie, are that they are some of the only antelope that will stay and fight off their predators. When their horns face their back like that, it does help them because just in case a predator jumps on their back, they're ready to fight. If sable antelope have young with them and a predator comes along, they will step on their young when they are down. They protect their young. They are the emblem of the Harambe wildlife reserve. Some of them will stay a week 
while others are sleeping watching for predators. Just in case a predator comes along, they will all get up and run together. In the air, about 10 to 13 feet forward. We also did see the Ancoli cow out there. Ancoli cattle are part of the bovine family. So they are in the family of Germany inside. It's still bone, but it only makes it weigh about 20 to 30 pounds. So it helps them with blood circulation. Now over on the right side of the truck there, you may see the African elephant. That one may be a male. Male elephants are solitary, so that one is a little bit maybe a male. You may also notice that water in front of them. Two farmers farms eating all of their crops. Now that's not good for the farmers because that is their livelihood. We've sent Disney conservation researchers over to Kent to be about five feet tall. Baby flamingos are born gray. They don't get their pink pigment until they are about two years old. Very social, so they are often found in groups. Now, some of the larger animals, like rhinos and elephants, may use a mud wallow. When they wallow, over on the left side of the truck, there you may see a cheetah. Birds. Looks like on the left side there you may see some cheetah. Looks like there may be three out there. One kind of the top and then two to the left there. Cheetahs are typically solitary. However, if they're born with other cheetahs, sometimes they stay together. Here's a better view of that water buck as well as the ostrich. is so small. These are actually fully grown adults. Farmers may like to keep Nigerian dwarf goats because it will help them with milk, which they can turn into soap, cheese, and many other products. Now you may have also seen that yellow box there. It is an example of a bee box. Keeping goats as well as and more. Those are definitely the people to ask. Over at Rafiki's Planet Watch, we also have the animation experience where you can learn how to draw one of our animated friends. It is completely random though, so you never know who you're going to get. If you are headed over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, just be sure to get on the train about 4.20 or earlier as they do giving it a try. It's about a 10 to 15 minute self-guided walking trail. If I have any wilderness explorers on board today, you are on the Simba one. Now my friends here at Harambe, we don't like to say goodbye because we feel like that is far too final.